टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रैंक ऑफ ए मैट्रिक यूजिंग नॉर्मल फॉर्म टिन लव व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इज रैंक ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग एक्लॉन फॉर्म वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रैंक ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग नॉर्मल फॉर्म ओके सो व्हाट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एक्लॉन फॉर्म एंड द नॉर्मल फॉर्म इज देयर वी कैन अप्लाई द only row operations in the echelon form only row operation is in the echelon form here you can apply the both row and column operations in the normal form okay and the next point what you have to remember while doing the normal form is always use the diagonal elements always use the principal diagonal elements to make the other elements as zeros okay the second condition we will with example i will discuss okay suppose what are the diagonal elements here 1 6 11 and 9 these are the principal diagonal elements what he is saying in the second point is use the diagonal elements to make other elements as zeros what he is saying is the use the principal diagonal elements to make the other elements as zeros so if you want to make 2 3 4 as zeros use any one of these principal diagonal elements and make the remaining as zeros okay so that he is saying so uh, use the principal diagonal elements to make the other elements means 2 3 4 7 8 7 5 10 9 5 1 these uh, elements you have to make it is zero using the principal diagonal elements is saying okay you can apply the both row and column operations okay okay now our question is how we can decide the rank of a matrix how we can decide the rank of matrix okay so in the echelon form how we have decided the rank of the matrix the number of non zero rows gives the rank of the matrix number of non zero rows gives the rank of the matrix then in the normal form how you are going to decide the rank of the matrix okay suppose this matrix you have reduced into a form like this 1 0 Zero, zero, and zero, one, zero, zero. Similarly, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one. Suppose this matrix has been reduced to like this. When you have applied both row and column operations, then what is the rank of this matrix? what the rank of this matrix means the uh, given matrix has been reduced into a 4 by 4 unit matrix therefore the rank of the matrix is 4 rank of this matrix given matrix is 4 we can have to decide okay otherwise if this matrix has been reduced to another form let us consider 1 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 suppose if the above matrix has been reduced into like this then what is the rank of the matrix given matrix a is suppose if you observe this one here you come across with 1 0 1 0 that means you come across with the a i2 0 0 you come across with the unit matrix of order 2 you come across with the unit matrix of the order 2 therefore the rank of the given matrix is nothing but the 2 rank of the given matrix is 2 when the rank of the given matrix is 2 if it has been reduced into a 2 by 2 unit matrix then the rank is 2 if it is reduced to into a 4 by 4 unit matrix the rank of the matrix is 4 if it has been reduced into a matrix having the 3 by 3 unit matrix 
then the rank is 3 okay this is the concept we have to remember so while doing the problem rank of a matrix using normal form you have to remember the first one that is the you can apply the both row and column operations okay the second one you have to remember always use the diagonal elements to make the remaining elements as zeros only these two points you have to remember and the another one is if you can reduce a matrix into the 4 by 4 unit matrix the rank is 4 if you can reduce the given matrix to the 2 by 2 unit matrix then the rank is then the rank is 2 if you can reduce the matrix to a 3 by 3 matrix then the rank is 3 rank will be 3 this is the concept of a normal form now we will discuss one problem so the given matrix is like this so now we have to find out the rank of this matrix so first what you have to do is the so first uh, we are going to do the this is the element uh, 2 this is the element 2 the first row first element is 2 you are having so always when solving the problems in matrices try to make this element as 1 because if it is 1 is there the calculation part will be easy so for that one what I am doing here it is nothing but the um now I am applying the different operations the first one what I am applying is the R2 gives sorry R1 and R3 and I am interchanging R1 and R3 I am interchanging therefore A will become 1 minus 1 0 3 and the second row is as usual 4 2 0 2 and the third row it will be nothing but the 2 minus 2 0 6 and the fourth row is as well 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 okay next we are going to apply the this is the first operation we have applied now I am going to apply the second operation what is the second operation I am going to apply is the I want to make this element as 0 and next this element as 0 and this element as 0 so to make these elements as zeros I am using the principal diagonal element 1 ok how I am applying the operation let us see R2 gives R2 minus 4 times of R1 similarly R3 gives R3 minus 2 times of R1 similarly R4 gives R4 minus R1 ok so if you can apply the operations A will become 1 1 minus 1 0 3 the first row is as well second row what it says R2 minus 4 times of R1 R2 is 4, 4 times R1 is 4, 4 minus 4 you are going to get 0. Similarly here it is 2 is there, minus of minus plus. So 4 is, 4 ones are 4, 2 plus 4 you are going to get 6. Okay, so if you do that one you are going to get 0, 6, 0, minus 10. Similarly the third row you are going to get it as all zeros. Similarly, the last row you are going to get as 0, minus 1, plus 1, and minus 1. Okay. So, next, what you have to do is uh, I want to make uh, these elements as zeros. I want to make these elements as zeros. We have to convert into a. We have to convert into a normal form that is nothing but you have to get a unit matrix sort of order 4 by 4 or 3 by 3 or 2 by 2 so that's why I want to make these two elements as zeros so now I am going to apply the column operations okay 
the third operation what i am going to apply the column operation that is nothing but c2 gives c2 plus c1 similarly c3 gives c4 sorry c4 gives c4 gives c4 minus 3 times of c1 so first while doing the column operations you write the first column as usual therefore 1 triple 0 the second one is nothing but the if you apply that one you are going to get a c2 plus c1 minus 1 plus 1 0 next one is 6 plus 0 6 next one is 0 plus 0 0 similarly minus 1 plus 0 minus 1 okay next one is c4 minus 3 times of c1 therefore the third column you write it as usual 0 0 0 1 c4 minus 3 times of c1 c4 is 3 minus 3 times of the c1 that means 3 minus 3 you are going to get 0 next one minus 10 so 3 into 0 therefore minus 10 and the next is 0 as usual next one is minus 1 as usual okay so next one you are going to do what you are going to do is that I am interchanging R3 and R4 I am interchanging R3 and R4 rows therefore if I interchange the R3 and R4 therefore you come across it 1 0 0 0 0 6 0 minus 10 minus 10 and 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 okay the last row is all zeros the last row is all zeros okay next what I am going to do is the I want to make uh, these elements as zeros why because means only the diagonal element should exist only the diagonal element should exist remaining should be zeros the concept is the diagonal element should exist and the remaining elements are should be zeros therefore which operations i am going to apply is nothing but the next one fifth step c2 gives c2 plus c3 similarly c4 gives c4 plus c3 so therefore first column i will write as usual 1 triple 0 and next one 0 c2 plus c3 0 plus 0 0 6 plus 0 6 only minus 1 plus 1 therefore it is also 0 0 plus 0 0 c4 therefore third row you write it as usual 0 0 1 0 so fourth row c4 plus c3 0 plus 0 it is 0 minus 10 plus 0 minus 10 only minus 1 plus 1 it is 0 only next one 0 plus 0 0 only so next what i am doing is the i am dividing the second column with 6 similarly i am dividing the fourth column with minus 10 then what happens let us look at then you are going to get it as 1 i am writing here i am uh, therefore it the matrix will become 1 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 0 and next one is 0 0 1 0 and 0 minus 10 by 10 minus 10 you are going to get plus 1 and 0 0 so if you look at this one only the principal diagonal elements should exist and remaining elements should be zeros therefore you have to make this element as 0 so you have to make this element as 0 so through which operation you are going to do is nothing but that so I am doing c4 gives c4 minus c2 therefore a will become first column is as well 1 0 0 0 and the second column is 0 1 0 0 
and the third column is 0 0 1 0 fourth column is 0 c4 minus c2 c4 minus c2 therefore 0 minus 0 1 minus 0 next one 0 minus 0 and 0 minus 0 so you are going to finally you are going to get like this matrix therefore if you observe this one so the a has been reduced to i3 3 by 3 unit matrix 3 by 3 unit matrix therefore the rank of the matrix is how much therefore rank of a is equal to 3 because it has been reduced to a 3 by 3 unit matrix therefore while doing the problem so always you have to remember that use the diagonal elements use the these diagonal elements to make the remaining elements as zeros so first what we did is that to make uh, reduce into the normal form what it says the normal form what it says so the diagonal element should be ones and the remaining should be zeros the diagonal element should be ones and the remaining elements should be all zeros for that one what i am doing is 4 2 1 i am doing it as zero first and then next time what we are doing is the this minus 1 and minus 3 i am doing it as zero okay similarly if you proceed with that one you are finally you are <coughs> going to get a unit matrix of order 3 by 3 for this problem therefore the rank of the matrix is 3 okay thank you